Welcome to the Missouri History Museum's Virtual Learning Day for April 2021. This video is part of our virtual craft room. Our theme for this month is Steam Through Forest Park. My name is Sarah and today we'll be creating natural paint brushes. Often referred to as the heart of St. Louis, Forest Park is a 1,300 acre park that's home to five major cultural institutions, including the Missouri History Museum. In addition to these places that are free and open to the public, Forest Park also boasts many natural highlights for visitors to enjoy. To name a few, we have Hidden Creek Savanna, which has more than 100 species of native plants and animals. It also provides a great pollinator habitat, so those birds, bees, and butterflies that help make the food. There's Kennedy Forest, which has 60 acres of mature forested habitat, and there's also successional forest. This area was once maintained as formal parkland with mostly mowed turf and planted landscaped trees. But for the past 30 years, the 60 acre forest has been left to grow and evolve. Today, as we create our natural paintbrushes and works of art, let's be mindful of the often less visited natural spaces in Forest Park. So, all right, let's get started. Now, the coolest part about this activity is actually a large part of it is going out and finding the materials. We are going to be foraging for your own materials to create your natural paintbrushes. Foraging is going out and looking for things in the land either to eat or to use for resources. In Missouri, it's super popular to forage for morels, which are a mushroom, and they usually start to spring up after the rain in early spring. Now, when we think of foraging, especially with morels, we think about heading out of city centers, but that's not true. You can forage right here in your own neighborhood. You can forage for food right here. In fact, one of my favorite social media people is a forager named Alexis Nicole. She isn't in St. Louis, but she is in the Midwest, and she looks for food right in her own neighborhood. You can follow her and learn about some of the plants that we have here in St. Louis and in the Midwest that you can find in your own neighborhood to eat. Now, there are some etiquette with foraging. So when you forage, you kind of want to only take a little bit of what you find. You want to be able to leave some for it to regrow or for other people to find. You also want to look for things that are maybe already on the ground or already dead. You don't want to be ripping off of trees or taking something that's about to grow. Now, those rules don't apply when it's an invasive species. There are some things in our neighborhoods that are actually edible and that are invasive, and you can take as much of that as you want because we don't want them growing in our natural habitats. So let's get started on these natural paintbrushes. So these are all things I found on the ground. The first thing you want to start with is your base. So that's going to be a stick. You're going to want a sturdy, sturdy stick, one that won't easily crack. Now, for your paintbrushes, you can use all sorts of materials. On the ground, I found some leaves from a pine tree. I found some dried grass, some leaves that have been really dried, and some leaves that are more fresh. All of these I found on the ground, and I didn't rip these off of any plants. You can make your paintbrushes many different ways. You can see here, I tied them, but you can also tape them or other ways if you think about it. So I have here some leaves and I'm going to bundle them together to make my paintbrush. And what I think is cool is you can gather whatever materials you're able to find. You can either come here to Forest Park to forage, your own backyard or a park near your house. Get several different materials because the coolest thing is each material will make its own natural pattern. All right, so what you can do is you'll take some string and you're going to want to tie the leaves to the stick. You wanna make sure that they are very, very tight because you don't want them falling off or moving around while you're trying to paint. You can see here, I'm going to wrap it around many, many different times. You also probably wanna do this over a tablecloth. As you can see, the leaves might fall off and it might get a little messy. So now I have my several paint brushes and each of them will make their own unique mark. It's now time to get paint. You can use any type of paint you want. I'm personally using acrylic paint to make my work of art. A popular thing in Forest Park, and you may have noticed when you come to visit, is lots of people like to come and use Forest Park for inspiration to paint. You may notice people out and about painting in plein air, which means out in the open air, and was popularized by the Impressionists. 
All right, so let's see what my different paintbrushes do. All right, look at that. This one tends to lean towards making little spots. Our leaves, which make bigger, thicker lines. Our dried grass, which makes thinner lines. And finally, my pine leaves. Now, with the natural paint brushes, it's a little harder to actually paint like a figure, but you still can create these abstract designs and design your own cards or anything you really want. My friend Allison provided ideas. She made a bookmark, cards, natural journals, and a work of art with a quote from St. Louis poet Sarah Teasdale. But you can get creative and do whatever you would like. This is your chance to be able to mix it up and create whatever you want. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Please check out our other crafts and our other virtual learning opportunities. Remember to tag us in anything you create by tagging Missouri History Museum and tagging us at hashtag MHSLearn. You can also go to both Missouri History Museum's website and Forest Park Forever to learn more about what we're doing. Thank you so much, and remember, keep making history.